So now you should be able to make a little bit more interesting scene. So I can go ahead and create some more objects. I'll create objects from the menu now instead of the shelf. Here we go, the Create menu. Polygon primitives, and I've got several to choose from. For example, a cone. And as always, I'll get some handy feedback to tell me what to do. I've got a cone. And I can grab the Move tool, which is W, on my keyboard. I can position that cone somewhere else in 3D space. Make another object, Create, Polygon Primitives. How about a torus? That's a donut. Drag on the grid to set the first radius of the torus. I release the mouse button, and I get some prompting to drag to edit the section radius. So I'll click and hold down the mouse and drag to control the thickness of my donut. And again, I can use the move and rotate tools. I can hit E and turn the object in different directions. I can hit Z on my keyboard to undo. The best way to alter this shape of a primitive is through its object attributes. Attributes are properties or qualities of objects, and some programs will call these parameters. In Maya, the attributes are directly found in the channel box. Select an object and look for its input section at the bottom of the channel box. Click on the input to reveal the attributes. And here you'll find radius, height, and other attributes that you can adjust. Where it says radius, I can highlight that value and type in, let's say, a 6 instead and press enter on my keyboard or height, I can reduce that to 12, for example. Each object has its own attributes. I can click on this torus, go to the input section of the channel box, click Poly Torus 1 to access the attributes, such as radius. So this is how I'm able to non-destructively adjust the attributes of selected objects. This is really a much better way of shaping my object instead of scaling. So you might be saying to yourself at this point, that's all well and good, but typing in values is not very intuitive. Well, Maya makes it very easy for you to adjust the attribute of any object interactively. All you have to do is select your object, go to the channel box and look for its input. And you'll see here we have polycone one. Click on it. This time, highlight the name of the attribute, not the number. If you wanted to type in a value, you'd highlight the number. To interactively adjust the attribute, highlight the name. Then hold down the middle mouse button and drag left to right in any view. This is called the channel box slider and it works in any attribute in the channel box. I can click the height of the cone, middle mouse, drag left to right to adjust that height interactively. In a moment, we'll look at the channel box in greater depth. Right now I'd like to share with you just a couple more of the Maya hotkeys so that you'll be fully fluent in viewport navigation. The frame command in Maya means to adjust the current view so that the selected object is visible. So if you select something and press F, Maya adjusts the current view so that that object is fully framed. Now whether or not anything is selected, if you press the A key on your keyboard, then Maya will frame all. All objects will be visible in the current view. And if you hold down Shift and press A, Maya will frame all in all viewports. Also, you'll need to know about the spacebar. If you press the spacebar down in Maya, you'll get something called the hotbox. This is just an alternate method for getting at Maya's menu system. But if you just tap the spacebar quickly, you'll toggle between panel layouts. So here we have a top viewport filling the screen in a single panel layout. Tap the spacebar again, and I switch back to the four viewport layout. I'll go over here and select something in my perspective view, and once again tap the spacebar to maximize that view. Let's take a deeper look at what's going on inside the channel box. When I adjust the attribute of an object, what I'm really doing is adjusting an input node. 
A node is basically a part of an object. It takes several nodes to make up an object. So we can get a better understanding of what that is. I'm going to briefly open up a window here called the hypergraph. Window hypergraph connections. And it'll show me the node structure of the selected object. So I've got a cone selected in my viewport. And I can dolly in and track around using shortcut keys just like in the viewports. And you can see I've got these boxes interconnected. Each one of these corresponds to a node. So you'll see polycone 1 here in the hypergraph. And you'll also see polycone 1 in the channel box. So there's a saying in Maya. It's called the Maya Mantra or the magic incantation, which is this. Maya is a network of nodes that are interconnected. And knowing that there is a node structure in Maya is important so that you can function effectively. In the language of Maya, a node is a container for attributes. In other words, attributes are held inside of nodes. And if you want to adjust an attribute, you've got to select a node to do it. So that's why you have to click on this input node in order to adjust the radius, for example. The channel box interface is organized based upon node type. So at the bottom, you'll have one or more input nodes. In the middle, a shape node. And at the top, although it's not labeled, is the transform node. Each one of these holds different types of attributes. So for example, in the polysphere node, I can adjust the subdivisions attributes to change the level of detail of the object. The transform node, of course, stores attributes such as position, rotation, and scale. And I can adjust those in the channel box also. The channel box doesn't show all of the attributes for the selected object. Only the most commonly needed attributes are displayed. If you need to dig deep into an object, you'll need to go into the Attribute Editor. To get to the Attribute Editor, one way is to use these three mysterious buttons on the far right-hand side of the status line. The button on the left is the Attribute Editor. The one in the middle is the Tool Settings, and the one on the right is the Channel Box. So we want to load the Attribute Editor into this right-hand panel. So I'll click on that, and now I've got the Attribute Editor. And this is really the heart of Maya. Each one of these tabs is a node. So you'll see for the selected sphere object, I've got a transform node, a shape node. In this case, it's a mesh or polygon object, and a so-called primitive node. And here we have access to all of the attributes for the selected object, including the ones that we saw in the channel box. The Attribute Editor does give you more options for interactivity. For example, most of these nodes have some graphic user interface sliders. Okay, now I'm fully in control of this world. I can select a viewport such as Perspective, tap the space bar to maximize that view, select an object, press the W key on the keyboard to move it, press the E key to rotate it, I can open up my channel box or attribute editor and adjust things like radius and height. And I can have fun getting familiar with the tools available to me in the wonderful world of Maya.